Hi everyone, Kyle here from Bostic Family Light Show. On today's video, we are going to show you how we put together an enclosure for our Pixel to Thames AC board. These boards will take a pixel data input and it will allow us to control AC outputs. So we could control AC lights, your standard traditional Christmas lights, or we can even control motors with this. So let's dive in. So the first thing we're going to do is I usually just cut off all of these, you know, warning stickers and things like that. And then I will start to cut all of these off, strip them and get them ready to be connected. And then we got this grounding strip and I'll leave a link in the description, but this will just allow us to make sure that this it will be grounded because the, the pixel to Thanes only has the hot and neutral output and you want to make sure that we still have a ground. And then we're also going to need one input. So most of these we are going to have the female version sticking out, but in one instance we will have the male end sticking out and that is going to be our input to the board. All right, so now we have our pixel to Thanes in the enclosure. We still have to wire up the ground wire and I want to make a bracket so we can mount the grounding bar inside. So what we're gonna do is use our Ikea cutting board and I have a previous template that I already created. So I'll just basically copy this and then we can use this again. And then from here, we can pre-drill our holes so we can screw the new cutting board in. And then from here, we basically just have to decide where we want the grounding bar. I don't want it directly at the bottom, but I don't want it too high up either. And then from here, we can strip off all of the grounding wire and then we can screw it into our grounding plane. And then we also need to mount this board down. So now we can go ahead, we can screw the board down. And when we do this, you wanna be very careful not to mark up the circuit board or over drill. You can mark these holes and come back and drill them later. Or if you can hold the board steady and still drill, just be careful not to mar up the circuit board. If you're not using standoff points, be very careful not to over tighten this because the bottom solder points are going to be resting up against the cutting board. So we need a way to send our pixel data in. So we are going to just add a pigtail coming out because this is going to be an input instead of an output, we're using the male version instead of the female version that we normally use on the controller box. And then typically it's a good idea to cut off the tinned ends of the connector and then connect it into the plug over here because the tin can sometimes affect the connection that you get or you might not get a good connection if you can't get it tight enough. 
So this one should be pretty much ready to go. And then what you would do is connect this to your pixel string, configure it in Exoites. We'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And then you can connect any of your AC props and then you'd be able to turn them on. So let's jump over to the computer, show you how to configure this in Exoites, and then we'll make sure everything's working. So in Exoites, you're gonna come up to the channel block model. Go ahead and drag that out, and then you can rename it. We called it P to T AC board. And then the number of channels for the AC board is going to be nine. And then we can save this, and I'm just going to reposition the model. And it didn't save the nine channel input we set. So make sure you hit the enter or return key and then save. And then we can open up the controller tab, click on the visualizer, and then drag the model onto the correct port. And then you can upload input and then upload output. Once that's done, go back to the layout tab and save it. And then you can open the sequence tab and you can do either sequence type and then you're going to go down to the model and expand it so you can see the different strings and then the different strands are going to represent the different outputs for the ac board and you're just going to drop an on effect and the on effect will activate whatever port they are assigned to so you can have output you know one through nine here and once you start plugging things in and you run the sequence, it will start turning those on and off. So let's check that out. So you can see the different ports are lighting up now. So this thing is ready to go. Hopefully this was helpful. We're super excited to start playing with this board. If you have used one or if you have any ideas on what we could integrate, leave a comment or send us a message. Share links of your display with us. We'd love to check them out and get some ideas. We're gonna do another video. We're gonna use the Pixel to Things DC board. So be sure to subscribe so you get the notification when that comes out. Thanks and we'll see you next time.